What's up, YouTube? Manny NYC. I was looking at the numbers down there. The shit wasn't moving, man. I don't know what happened. I guess the camera froze up a little bit. So, um, yeah. Got back from my trip. My trip to Vegas. Um, after I came back on Sunday, I hit a con. Um, up in Jersey. It's called, uh, what is it? Uh, Garden State Comic Fest. Real nice con. Kevin Eastman was there. Jim Steranko, you had uh, Billy Tucci, you had a whole bunch of people I can't remember, but uh, those were the main ones that I was like concerned about. But uh, I didn't get anything. I got something for Jim Steranko, but that was for somebody. And uh, I didn't get anything from Billy Tucci. Billy Tucci did uh, an amazing uh, commission piece for my boy. So, um... Yeah, so what else? Uh, Eastman, I got Eastman's autograph on something. Um, when I get that back from CBCS, you guys would uh, be the first to see that. Um, I didn't take any pictures of it. And another thing, uh, I took all eight of my books back, the CGC slabs. This guy was a prick oh, right off the bat. Oh, I was, he was, I was like, uh, yeah, I got some books. I got some books I need to return to you guys so I could get them re -slab. He was like, oh, you was one of those guys from the from the message board? I was like, yeah, I was one of those guys. What? Yo, the dude was retarded. He was like, very, he was being very, very condescending to me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to avoid this dude because I'm going to say something to him and he's going to mess up my books. So when I get my books back and I see him at another con, that's when I'll tell him go fuck himself. But right now, I'm not going to do that. Um, Let's see, what else? Uh... I met up at the con. I met up with the uh, Herc Loves Comics. I think that's his channel. Yeah, I forget. Uh, and uh, met up with Reaper Tate. Um, real cool dude. I met up with Vince, um, Simplify Comic Guy. Um, all those dudes, real cool, nice, chill. You know, we hung out. Um, we talked a little bit. And uh, yeah, um, I'll put those dudes' channel on the description. And when I upload this video, so what else? Went out to Vegas. Comic Fool. I didn't get to meet up with Comic Fool. Sorry about that, bro. I kind of like had. It was I don't know. I wasn't. I couldn't meet. I just couldn't meet up with him. I, I needed. I wanted to get his like information, but I didn't. I was retarded. I forgot about that. Um, to hit him up on YouTube and uh, get his info, like his phone number and stuff. So Comic Fool, um, sorry about that. Real cool dude. Go check out his channel. Great videos. He has good books. So I got to meet up with Big O Orlando. I got to meet up with uh, Ray, comic book fanatics. Ray, um, real cool dude. They all, man, they all do. They all cool, man. Orlando took me to like three shops and uh, showed me around. And uh, we went to that cheeseburger, cheeseburger. That was that was good, man. That was. I think I'm gonna go hit up the cheeseburger, cheeseburger here in the city, man. That, the cheeseburger was banging. I ain't even gonna front, man. Them cheeseburgers is good. But anyways, man, whoever's on Comic Book Fanatics Facebook page, y'all know y'all saw the pic. Um, he put it up. Ray put the pic up of me and him. Um, Marty thought I was like short or something. Um, nah, man. Sorry to disappoint you, man. I'm not that short. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was funny though. Um, I watched Marty uh video he did with Ray. Um, yeah, so that was kind of funny. And then uh, another thing, this guy Undisputed Frost, man, he's throwing shots at me, man, talking about what's up with my pants, my shorts. Listen, man, you don't have no fashion sense. When you get fashion sense, my man, come holler at me. Other than that, man, you still my you still my dude. You still my dude though. But um, but anyways, man, funny. He's funny. Um, yeah, that's it, man. What else? Uh. So, I picked up some books. I'm going to show you some books I picked up yesterday. I posted this on the Facebook page, Comic Book Fanatics. Um, so, I picked up... These books were all a dollar. I picked up Uncanny X-Men. These are all near mint, too. Uncanny X-Men, number one. Greg Land cover. Unca these are all Greg Land covers. Uncanny X-Men, number two. Beautiful... Uh, Great gland cover with Mystique up in the front. Um, I guess Punisher 88. A shout out to Punisher 88. He got this 
I think the same exact book signed by Greg Land. Kind of didn't like the autograph. I kind of like the way he signs his books. But anyways, he's a good artist. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number three. It's a nice cover. Uncanny X-Men number four. Nice sight lock cover. And Uncanny X-Men number five. That's what I picked up yesterday for a buck at my store. At my little uh, little hole in the wall store. That you get, can get. You can find some stuff. That's where I find my Jack Kirby at. The autograph on it. You know. Don't hate. Um, so. Alright. So I went to the con. I picked this book up. They had this book for $2. Hold so on. Let me put this book right there. So I picked this book up for $2, Batman Black and White, Amanda Connors cover. This is near Mint, too, this book. Beautiful Amanda Connors. I like Amanda Connors. Um, Captain Marvel, number five. Terry Dotson cover. That's the only reason I picked this up. Because other than that, this book, I don't think this has anything in it. But, uh, yeah, man, I... I don't understand, man. Everybody be raving about J. Scott Campbell this, J. Scott Campbell that, man. But look at this dude's art, man. He, he got a, J. Terry Dotson has way better art than J. Scott Campbell. Look at this, man. Super underrated, Terry Dotson. I don't, I don't understand. Him and his rate is Rachel and Terry Dotson. They both do the, the covers um together when they do books. I just don't understand, man. They they like underrated, man. Him and his wife, man. It's a beautiful cover, man. I don't understand, but anyways, man. I like J. Scott. Don't get me wrong, J. Scott Campbell is not a bad artist, but I don't know. I I just think Terry Dotson's a way better artist than he is. And uh, and all and all Terry Dotson, the even the even when he draws the when he draws uh, like Captain America or he draws those uh you know the men characters. They all look nice. When J. Scott Campbell draws men, they the dudes they look like they got big butts. But anyways, that's another story, man. Um, so just like Ray, I'm trying to complete this Power Girl run. So I found number 15. This is the near mint copy too. I found this. I got this book. Actually, this is <laughs> and this is all mixed up. This is one of the books that I got in um, Vegas at a comic shop. I can't remember what shop it was, so I don't remember. It's one of those shops Orlando took me to. Power Girl number 15. This is all mixed up here. And, uh, alright, this is a random act of kindness from my boy Captain America 8387. Holla at him. Go check out his channel. He gave me... He, you know, I, he had this. He picked this up. And uh, this book, I don't have it. This is that Green Lantern, uh, the Orange Lantern. I guess it's the... I don't think it's, it's, it's a variant cover. I don't know if it's a variant cover. I can't remember what he said in his video. But yeah, man, he picked that up. He sent that to me, man. I said, bro, I, I, I need that book. He was like, yeah, man, no problem. I, I'll give it to you. I was like, all right, man. Yo, mad cool. Dude is mad cool. I met him at Big Apple Con too, man. If you ever get a chance, go check his channel out. Captain America 87, 83, 87. Go check his channel out. I'll leave his channel down here also on my description. There you go. Green Lantern 39. Nice cover. So, this is going to be real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Um, so, I picked up these at uh, in Vegas also. I picked up these books in Vegas. I don't have a lot. I don't have really good shit to show you guys. But uh, Doctor Strange, blank cover. You don't need to see this. Of course, that's the end, Uh Planet Hulk, blank cover. I got um, Justice League of America, blank cover. And everybody's been picking this up. I, was, I picked this up because uh, I was uh, kind of afraid it might be sold out in uh, Midtown. Midtown has tons. I mean, like they have like a stack of these. Amazing Spider-Man 15. The Alex Ross, Mary Jane in the spider armor. Or the Iron Spider 
armor, whatever you want to call it. It's a beautiful Alex Ross cover. Gorgeous, man. This guy is an amazing artist. And uh, I picked up a book that was on the list. I picked this book up at the con. And it's a first appearance. It's the first appearance of the Wonder Twins and Glee. That's the monkey. Finally got it. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, but just, just put it, it was, it was under 50 bucks. It's like, I'll tell you how much I pay. I paid $40. The guy wanted 50. I asked, I said, I'll give you 40. He said, yeah. This book is like a VF minus. It's like a VF minus to a VF. First appearance of Wonder Twins. Super Friends, number seven. And also, this is also a Ramona Fraden cover. She did this. She did issues. I can't remember what issues she did, but she did issues from seven. I think she started in this one, number seven, all the way up to in the 20s, I believe. I think these books went up to the 20s. So, yeah, man, it's a nice book. 40 bucks. I bought this at, got this at the con. This dealer has great prices. Of course, he prices he prices them to sell, but uh, yeah, he has good prices. He prices them to sell, but you can he he'll still work with you. And uh, I don't know the deal. I, I gotta get this guy's card, but uh, yeah. So I got this off of him. And uh, what else? Oh, this book. For me to pay forty dollars for this, that's a good price. If any of you guys out there want this book, curious about this book, and you want to pick it up. Pick it up. If it's $40, pick it up. Because you go on eBay and they have cop they have copies of it. I think they have like maybe three copies on eBay right now. The copies are beat up. One right now, it's going for, I think it's going for $10. The bid is up to 10 bucks. I might bid on that just to get another copy. Because um, I might get another copy. Um, yeah, and there's two other ones on there. I believe one of them is like uh shit i know it's more than 40 bucks and it's beat up i mean when you see these books on ebay they beat up they're never 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 in good condition because nobody really collected this nobody cared about this this was a, a tv freaking comic book nobody cared about these books so you know i did a f i say about a couple of years ago i did had a chance to buy one of these on eBay and it was already graded and it was graded a 9.0 and they had it for a hundred I believe it was a hundred dollars and I was an idiot and I should have just bought it that time I should have just bought it I could have cracked that open and got it pressed and probably would have came back a nice 9.2 maybe but yeah man this is one of those books man these characters you probably they probably won't use they'll never use these characters again the Wonder Twins They'll never use these characters. Yeah, you won't see these characters in the uh, in the DC universe now. But uh, yeah, man, there you go. So there's thir there's 13 minutes this video. So now I can put these books away. And uh, well, oh, hold on, I got something else too. I picked up. I picked up this Funko Pop Master Splinter. Um, I was gonna get Eastman to sign it, but Eastman was charging, he was charging, it was one free, and then it was 20 bucks for anything after that. Um, I didn't, kind of didn't want to give him 20 bucks for his autograph. Um, so I got the one for free, and uh, I kind of jumped back on the line, but he remembered me when I first went on the line, and he remembered me. So, <laughs> I didn't want to go back on there again. I got, I jumped on the line, and then I thought, and then I was thinking about it. I was like, "Shit, he remembers me from last time. What makes you think he won't remember me now? Like it was just like a couple of hours ago." So I was like, "Forget it. I was gonna get this signed by him." So, yeah, man, that's a nice, uh, nice master splinter. The ones that are rare are the Bebop and Rocksteady, I think. Um, so yeah, that's it, man. I had an amazing time in Las Vegas.
I was always up, never down. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, I had a good time. Me and the wife, we had a great time. We got back on Saturday, hit that con up on Sunday. And uh, yeah, man. So it was a pleasure meeting you, Ray. Pleasure meeting you, Orlando. Pleasure meeting Herx Comics, uh, Reaper Tate, and Vince. Pleasure meeting you dudes, cool dudes. Go check their channels out. Go check out Comic Fools 2. And go check out Captain America 8387. He, this guy, he got a lot of nice books. Captain America 8387. He always picks up good books, man. And, uh, yeah, man. That's it with the hands. Hey! Yo, so listen. Big E's, we gotta have the show. My man's Big E's. He got the show. We got the show coming up. New York Warriors. You know what it is. Um, I'm not gonna say when. Because I think we gotta work out the, you know, the little details or whatever. But, uh. Yeah, you know your New York Warriors is in the building. So, you know. You know what it is. Um, yeah, Frost. Send my book. Send my, my Funko Papa my books, please. Because I'm back home. Oh, and Merc with a mouth. Oh, shit. I got to send his books back. I told you when I get back from vacation, I'll send you books. I got some stuff I got to mail out this, this weekend. So, I holla at you guys. Appreciate you checking out my channel. Um... Thank you to all the new subs or the old subs. And, uh, yeah, man. Leave your comments. Oh, another thing. If, oh, no, nah, forget it. I ain't gonna. But anyways, though, listen. Check it out. I'm out of here. I gotta go before the wife gets here. Uh, it's 5.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And why Warriors stay up. Latinos stand up, too. Because I think most of the New York Warriors are Latinos. So, you know what it is. Represent. Manny NYC. I'm out of here.